What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lofixi and welcome back today to my time at Porsche. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we continue on here with our brand new little adventure here into the beautiful town of Porsche. And yeah, this is episode three. So the last couple of episodes have sort of been as kind of learning a little bit about the game. And uh, yeah, last episode was really good because what it did is it allowed us to kind of get some of our basic machines going, which will help us craft all of these cool things. So yeah, in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves this sneaky cheeky grinder. We have ourselves a woodcutter and we have two furnaces. However, I'm currently making some bronze bars, which is copper and tin all put together because I'm going to need some bronze for the bridge, which is hopefully going to be something which we can make this episode. I don't know. We'll see. However, I did actually see in my post, it's currently nearly 6 p.m. in this day and hang on, unread. No, no, red. It's in red. Yes, I got a message from City Hall, which says... We have an important meeting in the town's plaza tonight. Beach Plaza, make it 7 p.m. sharp. From the Mayor Gale. You remember Mayor Gale? He's the small pumpkin-shaped man. Um, so I think we should probably go to that. I don't know what that is, but it's like the first fireside meeting. And we got invited, which is kind of cool. So I think we should go and do that. I do also have a fishing rod, which I need to make for this, this chap over here. So... What do I actually need for a fishing rod again? I think I have the ingredients. I just need a little bit more wood and one copper bar. Um, and I think I have some... No, that's the assembly station. I think I have some copper bars. Uh, I do. I have six. Hey! Okay, so I guess we can do that tomorrow as well. We can just make ourselves one of those bad boys. Uh, I do also want to go and upgrade my axe because we do need some hardwood uh, for this bridge construction. So I do need to make myself a better axe. Uh, which I'm kind of trying to work on right now as well. But yeah, how's everyone doing? I hope you are good. Welcome back. Thank you so much for checking out my time at Porsche. Uh, I know it's not the most popular series on the channel. and We didn't get off to an amazing start, but hopefully some people will find the series. And, you know, if you've clicked on it and you've given it a go, then thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, I think this is it. Hey. Good evening, everyone. Hello. We've been having lots of pan bat sightings recently. I know they're cute, but still, don't go near them. They're dangerous. I've asked the Civil Corps to try something to scare them off, but I'm not holding up much hope. We all know what a Panbat infestation's like. Sometimes, I wish I had a tank. In other news, we've decided to proceed with the building of a bridge to Amber Island. A builder has already been picked for this project. Also, we are in preparations for the construction of the DD transportation system. I'll be securing the funding over the coming weeks and pick a builder soon. Any donations are welcome. What? How come I didn't hear about the bridge? When was this? <laughs> oh no, it's not you, is it? Oh, Tony doesn't have a voice. Oh, now I finally get to fish there. He's asking for money again. Oh, Martha's a bit sassy. Finally, we have a new builder in town this week who lives in the old workshop outside the city gate. Let's all give a James. warm welcome. Oh, they didn't even put a clapping sound in it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just got silent clapped by the entire town of Portia. <laughs> oh, is there anyone here that we need to meet? Dr. Zoo, we need to meet Paulie. Where's Paulie? Uh, Paulie, 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 are you here? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, is that you? Hang on. Paulie, yes. Okay, let's meet you. Interact. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you ever have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. Oh, I see what your voice is. It's kind of a little bit German, you know what I mean? <laughs> and since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. All right, so Paulie's a manly man, man. Oh, hardwood. Actually, that's a really good present. I need that. Uh, I saw another one. I saw Albert somewhere. I need to meet you as well. So anyone that I need to meet for this quest has like little blue dots over their heads. Ah, welcome. If you're in need of house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalogue book in our company. Oh, so we can buy catalogue books or something? Nice. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, So we need to meet Sophie and Dr. Zoo. I haven't seen either of them just yet. Slightly concerning, but hey. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So it's nighttime now. So what we'll do is... I suppose. Well, actually, you know what? I've got a bit of stamina, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to chop down some trees. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hmm, I feel like the mass tree harvest of Porsche has begun. Um, <laughs> I swear I used to have lots and lots of trees and bushes around here. They're all gone, and they've all fallen to my mighty axe. Oh, jeez. Feels good, man. Okay, 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 okay. So we got ourselves some runs bars. Um, so what I want to do 
is I want to make myself an upgrade for our axe. So we need an upgrade kit from Total Tools. So we're going to try and visit that today, see if we can afford one. I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, yes, we can make a fishing rod. Boom. Hey, I kind of want to make two because I kind of want to try it myself. But I guess if that dude walks past, he seems to, then we can actually go and hand that in. Uh, we've also got a letter from Dawa. Okay. Okay. Uh, who's Darwa? I don't know. I'm Darwa, the keeper of the Porsche tree farm. The last storm we had blew down some fencing. We're closed until it fixed, so I need you to help me fix it as soon as possible. We need five wooden boards. Thank you, Darwa. Actually, that's really easy. Yes, 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 yes. I like this quest. This is a very easy, obtainable quest for five wooden boards. I can do that. I can do that. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Okay, we've got to wait a little bit of time. Uh, whilst we're doing this, though, we should we should just make, like, whatever we have. So, can I make... I can only make one copper bar. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, you know what? It's better than nothing. Um, so, okay, we'll just... Is it doing it? Copper bar. Craft. Confirm. There we go. There we go. Might as well do something with the furnaces. So, yeah, there's loads and loads of copper down in the mines. It's not really an issue in terms of, like, what we need for that. Um, but, yeah, so the next thing we really want to try and look at are these pieces of bridges. So, for example, if we have the wooden bridge head, we need hardwood planks from hardwood, six copper bars, and three copper pipes. Um, so, yeah. I guess we just need a lot of copper. I can make two copper pipes. So, I basically, I need to go back to the mines. I need to go and get some more copper. Uh, that won't be too bad. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. It's 8 a.m. Should we, should I go and grab some, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go and grab some more, um copper and then we see if we can try and find this wait is that it oh that's the construction uh, i want to see if i can find this tool shop because i do need to get that upgrade hmm okay another thing that i want to do whilst it's today is we've been collecting these mysterious discs and i have no idea what they do but i think we can hand them in so we need to go and find the research center i think uh, and it will allow us to actually hand these in so lee oh Good day, Builder. Oh dear, a data disk. You know what this is? Oh, you know what this is? Of course, this is what the ancients used to store information on their technologies back in the Age of Corruption. It is highly dangerous because there's a chance that this little item can contain the blueprint for world destruction. It can't be that bad, right? Ah, <laughs> what are you, 1819? <laughs> the Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale to you, right? When I was young, my great-grandma told me firsthand accounts of the time before Peach. The times where folks lived in the ruins underground. She went days without food. Everyone fought everyone else over the most basic things. They were always considered old. Oh, no, no, no. People were, uh, people were considered old when they were 30. And it was always, always dark. So Peach is apparently like the savior of this place or something like that. Imagine that. Uh, that's what the end of the world looked like. And that was created by the same dark technology stored inside that little disc. Anywho, I'm not trying to scare you, but there's a reality of your builder business. But that's the reality of your builder business. All this dangerous technologies are spread around the world, waiting to be stumbled upon. And in the case of the research center and cities like Vega 5, expedited in their recovery, then calamity will strike again. So it's priority of the church to seek out and destroy all the data disks and other dangerous relics. Uh, okay. So, can I give this to you? Yes, 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 that's right. Oh, I don't want to give it to him. What kind of technology? Oh, jeez. Okay, this is a long speech. Mostly special needs, uh, special seeds, you see. Uh, we can share what we have with you as long as you bring us more discs. Uh, do you know how to plant crops, right? Yes. Okay, great. Here, take this disc. Take the disc, and I'll give you some seeds to get you started. When you discover more discs, bring them to us, and we'll give you more seeds. Ah, okay, so every time we, we give him a data disc, he gives us seeds. So he's given us three cotton seeds. So we can grow those, and I'm guessing we can do something with them. But I think I can hand them into two different locations. I can hand them into the research center as well, surely. The archaeologist. Meet and greet. Fishing rod. I don't know. I guess we could just hand them into him. I mean, he gives us seeds each time, which is kind of useful. The only thing is, we don't have anywhere to plant the seeds. See, Mysterious Day. This is what I want to track. Go to the research center. Where is the research center? Okay, geez, I'm running around this place. This place is actually really, really big. And there's loads of areas around the sides of the maps, which are like little areas where you can't go yet, or they haven't been, like, discovered. And there's pools. Chat to the pools. Meow. Yes. I feel like if I gave you a fish, you'd like me. 
Maybe we should do that. Okay, I found the research center. I just found it on the map. Um, I think this is it, this like tower. So I think we can also choose to hand in data disks here. It can depend. So basically that church thing is they, so basically like there's a guy called Peach and he's like the savior of Portia and the church believe that these data disks could like end the world or something, but there's also the research side of it. So I guess we'll talk what to Petra. What do we have here? Ah, oh, data disk. Yes. Do you know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. That's where this data disk comes in. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them to me, okay? Oh, okay. That's much better than seeds, isn't it? Okay, so they've got a relic recovery machine? Oh, no way. Recover. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is the relics. Right, 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 right. So, do you see these pieces? I think I have a few of these pieces. I don't have all of them. So, that is a data disk and the random pieces that we can find in the mine. So, if we get... I think we've got... Actually, hang on. I think I've got two of these old talker pieces. So I'm guessing that if we, like, find all three and we put this together, then we can actually unlock a, um, a, a like, a phone or something. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. Um, so I think I'd prefer to use my discs for that because we can actually have things to build. Although getting seeds, I suppose, is useful. But the only thing is we've got nowhere to plant our seeds, which is the problem. Uh, okay, so I also went and checked in this store, uh, Total Tools, over here. And we need, which is a little bit unfortunate... We need, um, yeah, we need 214 goals to buy this. So I think the only way we're going to be able to do this is to do some quests. Um, so we do have that quest from the guy with the wood. So I suppose we should go and hand that one in. Oh, yeah, we also have the fishing rod one, don't we? <gasps> okay, let's go and hand those in. There's a pig! There's a pig! It's little Ronald! Oh, jeez! <laughs> it's QQ! No way! It's a pig -oo. Oh, he makes noises. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, little Ronald. What can I give you? What can I give you that you would like? Um, 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 um. Oh, you don't like any of this stuff, do you? What about a herb? Oh, he hates me. Oh, no, he likes me. Hey, okay. I got plus one relationship. <laughs> That's the first time we've given anyone anything that they haven't immediately hated. And of course, it was little pig. Look how speedy he is. Oh, he's so speedy. Oh, jeez. Okay, we've got two quests to hand in here. Um, so one of the dudes is over here. The map system is really good. So, I mean, it's quite easy to locate um, where you're actually going. So here's the first one. And direct. Oh, this is one wicked looking rod. Thanks a bunch, mate. Here, I have some extra lure. Maybe you'll enjoy fishing as much as me. Okay. Hey, so we got our first uh, payment there. 20 goals. Oh, jeez, that's not much. <laughs> I was hoping for some more. Um, the guy that voiced that guy is definitely the guy that voiced, like, that first guy who was, like, sailing in the boat. Maybe it was the same person. I can't remember. Okay, anyway, so we've done that. Now we need to go all the way over here to the tree farm, which is interesting, actually, because I'm cutting down all of the trees around in my house. But if I can go and cut down someone else's trees, that would be fantastic. Um, so, oh, look, it's my neighbor's farm as well. Okay, well, it's going nighttime, but I'm not too worried about that. I've got more things smelting, so we can kind of try and get ahead of ourselves a little bit with our resource gathering. I think that's probably quite important for this game. Uh, I think I've used all of my wood, though. Uh, okay, so here's the... Ooh! Is that a peach tree? Can I kick the peach tree? Kick! Oh, my goodness me, I just got loads of things. What were they? Apples! Oh, it's an apple tree! Give me more apples! Yes! Can I sell the apples for money? That's that's the only thing I'm thinking of right now. Oh, I've got an aroma apple as well. Keep kicking. Okay, kicking uses my stamina up, but... How many times can I kick this tree? I don't think it's going to drop anything else. 
Hey, okay, so we've got some apples. I'm just thinking of something to maybe sell to get some money together. Uh, so I've got... Oh, here we go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, this tree farm will be back in business in no time. Come on, ain't it? Let's get busy. Hey, there we go. Look at that. 150 goals. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay. Oh, you new in town as well? I just moved here a little while ago. Name's Adit. Adit, okay. I'm gonna chat with you. Welcome to Portia. Hopefully you like it here. Try to get to know everyone. We're very inclusive. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so this tree farm is intriguing to me. I can't go in it just yet. The tree farm is currently under maintenance, but... When I can go in it, I reckon I can get all of the fruits from there. I reckon I can cut down some of the trees. I'm mainly eyeing up the trees. I want all the trees. Give me all the trees. Cut down the trees. Okay, so it's another day. Um, so what I've done is I've started to try and slightly organize myself a bit. So I've kind of got loot chests with um, resources that I need. And I just noticed that we had this other quest here, which we got in our mail. Hang on, in missions. Uh, furniture maker, which asks us to produce three copper blades which I completely forgot about. So the good news is, is that if we make three of these, which will take three hours, then we can go and hand that in and we'll have enough goals to actually buy the upgrade to get ourselves an axe, which is good <laughs> because I need an axe for hardwood. Otherwise, you know, we can't cut down big trees and we can't make this bridge, which I think is... I, I said I was going to do the bridge this episode, but I think this is one of these games, once again, where it's very, very, very easy to get distracted. Um... And yeah, it just, you just kind of lose track of time, which is which is nice. I like games like this. Uh, okay, so I've got to wait for these to go. I've got some stuff smelting. Uh, I've just done some more planks, because why not? And oh, I've also got level ups to do. And I completely forgot about them. I've got two skill points. So I can increase my damage, or I can increase my defense. Uh, I can increase my maximum health, or increase my maximum stamina. Um, I don't know. Or I can increase my social. I don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted by the gather, and I'm tempted by the stamina increase. So I might spend... Should we spend two points in stamina? Yeah, let's spend two points in stamina. Nice. Hmm, okay, so we've done the the blades. Now I'm wondering, because that was a commission, do we hand it into the Commerce Guild? Do we hand it into Antoine? Is that how we do it? Or do we hand it into this book? That is a guidebook. That is no good. Where is Antoine? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, dude. Do I... Skincare is a basic right. We need to use face cream every day to have smooth skin. <laughs> okay, that's that's all well and good, Antoine, but don't I hand in my stuff to you? Or do I actually hand it into the, the actual person? Um Oh jeez, oh jeez. Um 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 Oh 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 these are new things, hang on. He needs five glasses. No, that's that's not it. Uh needs three wooden storages? Is that storage chests? I can do that quite easily. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up that commission. And this guy needs two water tanks. No, I don't know how to do those yet. Okay. Um, I think maybe I just need to hand it into the actual guy then. Or do I hand it to Presley? I don't hand it to Presley, do I? Come on, talk the to me, Presley. The Commerce Guild is always busy. But I feel like I'm taking part in the talysis of the world. Okay, just let me hand in my couple of things, please. Oh, jeez. What do I do? What do I do? I feel like I just hand them in directly. Um, so I think we'll do that. So the furniture maker, I do know where he is. He's quite close to the total tools. And actually, this is perfect because if we go here, we talk to Paulie. Ah, strapping quality. Expect. Oh, no, he's, he's quite. He's, he's, he's German, isn't he? Or is he? I can't remember. Was he? Strapping quality. Expect nothing less from you, smallish builder. <laughs> yeah. Nice, we've got loads of goals. So, what we can do now is we can go to Total Tools and we can buy an upgrade kit. Woohoo! How do we buy it? Confirm. Okay, here we go. Oh, I get a discount? Hey! Nice, nice, nice! So, an upgrade kit will now allow me to make a better pickaxe. Let's talk to the cat again. Chat to the cat. Meow! Can I gift you something? What do you like? Do you like an apple? Hang on, let's give you a normal apple. Oh, he hates the apple. <laughs> oh. Why does every animal hate me in every game? Right, okay, so now if we grab ourselves some bronze bars, we can go to our crafting table and we can make a bronze axe! Woohoo! Yeah, so that consumes our upgrade kit, but in theory now, because we have this bronze axe, let's pick a tree, please, please, yeah! Yes, okay, we can cut down trees now to get hardwood. 
So obviously they take longer to cut down because they're big boys, but three, two, one. Hey! Oh, we can cut down the stump as well. <laughs> How much do we get? Okay, we only get like a few hardwood. We get more normal wood and hardwood. How much hardwood did we get? I think we got about 10 hardwood from one tree. And we also got iron wood. <gasps> oh, geez, that's so exciting. So, unfortunately, I think that's probably going to be about it for today's episode here in my time at Porsche. Um, but yeah, next episode, I think I really want to get cracking on this bridge. Uh, we need copper pipes and hardwood planks. So we need to make hardwood planks now. So what we can do is we go over here. Oh, and it's five hardwood per plank. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to need to cut down a lot more trees. Huh. Anyway, I'll get that ready for next episode. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. Make sure you tune into My Time at Porsche next episode too. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do My Time at Porsche on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rentium!